welcome to the Who What Where show. I'm Az Mohammed. I'm Stephen Nix. And this is all about nutrition, New Year, and fitness. Right, where Speaking are we? Speaking which, we are in uh, 26 Art Fitness. Ryan Rhodes's gym, a Sheffield legend. Where is it? Ryan, where are you? Oh, there he is. Hey, 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 right here, right here. It's good to see you, mate. Oh, yeah, oh, okay. Mr. Motivator himself. <laughs> <laughs> Go and do some about this. <laughs> You've given me an idea. Hmm. You wait right there, bro. Come with me, Ryan. Steven, <laughs> guess yeah, what? On. Me and Ryan have been talking, and we've decided that you're going to be doing some fitness here today. I can't be doing no fitness, I ain't got no kit. All right. Oh, you lot joking. You've got to be joking, <laughs> aren't you? Have you got to... <laughs> have you got to there you go. <laughs> hey. So, it's for me. what we need, yeah, it's perfect. It fits you as well. Good stuff. Get in there, go get extra, changed. Extra, extra large. Oh, yeah. We'll see you in five, yeah? Oh, good luck. <laughs> <laughs> Nightmare. Right, first of all, Ryan, uh, while he's getting changed in there, let's talk about yourself and this gym then. What's this all about and what happens here? Basically, it's uh, a boxing plus fitness. Uh, we've got professional fighters here, we've got amateur fighters here, we've got general public what train here. So everybody trains together. Uh, upstairs is where the boxing is, downstairs is where the fitness So If you want to come in and just do some run on the treadmill, do some weights, we've got all them facilities downstairs. Or if you want to come upstairs, do some boxing, some bag work, some pad work, fitness, everything. We've got everything all under one roof. And this all takes place where? We're at Shales Moor, uh, just on the outskirts of the Sheffield Town Centre. Uh, been here just over a year now, great facilities. Main road into the gym, main road out of the, out of the gym. So it's easy to get to the gym, not a problem. And how do people join up and what sort of things do you need to do? You can come down to the gym, see what we're all about, come and try one of our sessions. The first session is absolutely free when you, when you come to 26 RR Fitness. If you like it, all you need to do is just sign up then. As easy as that. Let's talk about the gym. Upstairs you've got boxing. Great facility. You say all the boxers train here. Alone. Yeah. Why, why, why did you decide to mix them then? Because um, I think it's great for everybody. Uh, I think professionals training with uh, your general public only inspires the general public to, to come to the gym, push themselves and for the professionals training with the general public, uh, interacting with people, I think it's great for the fighters. We're going to get ready now and we're going to see how this guy is going to perform. This is going to be absolutely right. Ryan, gonna you're going to really get into I'm going to push him. I'm going to push him. He, uh, he's told me he wants to lose two, two stone in, uh, in a month, so um, we're going to try. Oh, Sorry, <laughs> it's a lipo, is it? Yeah, yeah, a bit of lipo suction. <laughs> <laughs> That's brilliant. Look, we're going to get to it right now. Let's find out what Ryan's going to do to this guy. I can't wait. Five, six, oh, seven, geez. eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Come on. Down. <laughs> up, down, hold, hold it there. Hold it. Up, down, up, down, hold, hold it there. Right, what they're doing now? Got all the coffee, eh? Coffee. It's a lot of work in the gym. I don't know how to use this, but I'm going to try. Oh, look, it's, it's Ryan. <laughs> It's pretty easy, you know, sometimes when you come to the gym and obviously there's a lot of work going on and you know, all that energy up there, just watching them kind of got me tired. <laughs> oh. Same again. But Ryan, let's talk about your life first of all. How did it all begin? Uh, boxing wise, I started when I was six years old. Um, my mum took me down to Brendan Ingalls gym at Winkerbank, um, the famous Ingalls gym where all the champions have trained out of Sheffield. Uh, and it all started from there for me. Six years old, I had my first amateur fight at 11 years old, turned professional at 18 and retired at 36 years old, so 30 years involved in boxing. 
And when you were growing up, who was your idol? Everyone has one, don't they? Yeah, yeah, when I was growing up, my idol was a guy called Marvis Marvin Agler. Um, Southpaw fighter from America, unbelievable fighter. Um, and then I got involved, I've got, uh, I got into Mike Tyson, uh, Lennox Lewis, uh, and then my best mate growing up was, was Prince Nassim, was Naz, uh, Sheffield legend. What was that like? That big it Prince was good, Nassim. it was good. We had some, we had some good times. Uh, I was mo mo mainly on the undercard of, of Naz's. I mean, I remember one show at Sheffield Arena, it was called the Full Monta. Uh, Naz was the main, main fight. Um, Chris Eubanks boxed um, Joe Calzaghe, and, and then I was the chief support to that, so we had a great event at the Sheffield back in, back in the day. Massive fights, massive, massive Big days, shows, some big shows. Sheffield's always been a, a big, big city with, with boxing. Uh, it's, it's turned out champions all, all year round. Uh, it's like a conveyor belt. Uh, I don't know what it is in Sheffield, but Sheffield's turned out probably, if not, um, the second most champions in, in the UK, probably apart from London. Uh, but, but yeah, Sheffield's always turned out great boxing champions. But when you're there, and especially with your first big fight, playing undercard to those massive characters, what was that like? How's the emotions? How do you feel at the time? Are you nervous? Well, yeah, obviously. I mean, when you're looking at them guys and you've just seen them on TV, and the next, the next thing you're on, you're on the same show as them. It's a great buzz. It's a great feeling, um, and 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 that's my that's my goal now is is for my fighters, my pro fighters in the gym now to to make sure they're on the big shows, make sure they're fighting uh, on TV and uh, and and fighting for titles and turning turning them into champions. That's my goal now. Um, I did everything. I, w I won everything apart from a world title as a professional fighter. So my goal now is to, to train a world champion. Um, we've already turned champions out, uh, but ultimate goal is to, to turn a world champion out. Go, we are you here? <laughs> <laughs> I think we'll take a lot longer than uh, <laughs> 10 years. Just a little bit, yeah, a little bit. <laughs> so let's talk about um, the first time then, that moment. What happened? If I take you back to that first time as a pro boxer, right? Ready for your big fight. What are you thinking about? Can you remember it? Yeah, my first professional. What did you do first of all? You first, woke up. Let's say you woke up and what happened? My first professional fight, uh, I was up in Scotland. Um, I boxed a guy called Lee Crocker. Um, I was up in Scotland, big card, it was on uh, it was on BBC. Um, big show up in Scotland, and I got knocked down twice in the first round. The guy put me down twice in the first round. I got back up and I knocked him out the second round. But this is the, uh, everything around me, I, I, I lost concentration on, on what I were about. Uh, there were quite a, lot of, quite a lot of publicity about me turning professional, because I did really well in the amateurs. So I turned pro with Frank Warren. Um, so there were quite a lot of publicity around, my, around me. And I probably took my, my eye off the ball for that split second. And in the first round, he knocked me twice, knocked me down twice in the first round. Did that work for you though, Ryan? Having all of that publicity or did it work against you in a way? I don't know because I, I, I was used to seeing the cameras in the gym all the time with Naz, with Johnny Nelson, with Errol Graham. So I was used to seeing all the cameras in the gym. So, but probably the, for, for that, that one fight, all the cameras were on me. So I, like I said, I probably just took my eye off I off the ball for just that split second and I paid for it in that first round. When you got hit then, in that first round, at that moment, what did you think? What am I doing down here? <laughs> <laughs> Basically, what am I doing on the canvas? Um, Does it look far? Yeah, you know? look, yeah you look, I'm a little bit dizzy. I've seen a few, a few stars and a few birds tweeting, but yeah. no, I, w I went back to the corner and Brendan, Brendan Ingle. Did he grill uh, you? He gave me a, a right grilling. Um, I think he even slapped me once. Uh, but no, he, he proper told me off and, you know, I've, I've got my senses, I realised what I'd done wrong and probably showboating a little bit too much. Got my hands down by my waist, showing off. But the, I went out that next round, my hands up, concentrated on what I needed to do and I knocked the kid out the second round. And after that, what happened? My, 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 my career just went like that. Uh, I won the British title on my 11th fight. Uh, I, I was the youngest in 57 years to win a British title. 
I won the, I won the Lonsdale belt uh, outright in record time. Um, and then I boxed for European, I boxed for international titles, I boxed for world titles. Like I said, I never won a world title, but I boxed for three world titles. Um, and I, I won everything apart from a world title. Now my goal is to pass on what I know and my knowledge to, to my pro fighters and to obviously Steve. And uh, let's get him to make him a champion. Move in, move in. In and out, in and out, and then left to right, left to right. Come on, mate. Great art, to be fair. Great art. What's that? These bags are knocking me out <laughs> behind me, never mind, no else. The guy behind us just there is absolutely killing it. Come on. <laughs> You're supposed to be repping this show. He's what is happening? Ryan, get, get it moving faster, man. Great yeah, idea, So, uh, like they do in boxing, he's going to be telling you what's happening. So this is a leg workout. It's an intense, intense, very intense leg workout. I want you to push it all the way to the top of the green track, all the way back to me. I want you to push it five times. So one, two, three, four, five. Yeah? Yep. As fast as you can. Right then. Dig them feet into that floor and push it as fast as you can. So push it to the end of the green track yeah. so you can run round it and push it back. Okay. Yeah? Right. Are you ready? Yeah. There you go, two, three, four, five, six, a bit faster, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, plank, hold it there, hold it there. Brilliant, right? So this is it. This is the big. This is where the magic happens. This is where it happens. Yeah, yeah. Wow. What's it like when you get in the ring like this? It must bring back memories, right? Yeah, massive. I mean, 52 times I, 52 professional fights I had. So getting into the ring always brings back memories, some painful ones as well. So, but listen, it's all good. Um, I had a great career. Um, and now we've, we, 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 we let it, we're teaching people how to fight, or even not even just how to fight, but helping people to lose weight, helping people to, to, to focus and get back on track. Um, boxing is not just boxing, boxing is the discipline about everything, the diet, the getting fit, the training, the discipline, everything, all into one. What's the hardest bit about boxing then? Is it, is it the diet? Is, is that the hardest uh, part of it? Majority, if you ask, you know, if you ask 100 fighters, 95 of them fighters would say the hardest part is the, the, the diet. Uh, having to lose weight, having to strip strip weight, get down to, to the fighting weight. Um, once they've made that, once, you, once any fighters, or once most fighters have made the weight, the easy part is getting in that ring and fighting. Uh, all the hard work is done in the gym, all the hard work is done in training, done on the road, running. Um, the easy part is getting in the ring and fighting. So when it comes to it then, when it comes to, let's say for argument's sake, you've got a fight coming up, at what point do you start to train, like, and I mean properly train? I, I was one of them fighters when, when I got my date for the fight, that's it, something clicked and I will focus. So I'd get on my diet, I'd get on my training, I'd, I'd be on the road running. Um, but I used to find it very difficult when I had nothing to focus on, when I had nothing to, to, to look forward to. Uh, but like I said, as soon as I got my date, six, eight, nine weeks, whatever it were, I was on it, I was on it. But listen, I learned everything I did from, from down, at, down at Brendan's gym and, um, you know, we, he, the gym never turned out as many champions for nothing. Uh, it was all because of Brendan's method. Let's talk about you and your boxers then. 
you fought some great fighters. And yeah. I mean, for starters, fighting these kind of boxers was Yeah, cool. I mean, I, I box, box, like I said, I boxed for three world titles. I boxed uh, Jamie Moore for the European title. I went to Mexico and fought Canelo Alvarez. Um, so yeah, I booked some great fighters. We had some great British dust-ups, uh, great grudge matches. Um, and that's what boxing's all about, having, having them big, big fights, big names, and on big shows, on big events. Let's, let's talk about Canelo then. You went over to Mexico, didn't you? Yeah. Canelo's. What was the reasoning behind that? Did you not come here? Well, no, I was, I was number one in the WBC rankings, so he was the champion at the time, and he, was, he is obviously promoted by Golden Bell, Oscar De La Hoya. So um, there was no way they were going to let Canelo come to, come to the UK. So we Why had not? To, With this beautiful weather. Well, exactly. Look at the weather. Look at this. You know? It's raining. <laughs> our camera guy's Spanish as well. Yeah, yeah. And he was telling us how horribly sunny and hot it was abroad. You know, he's so happy he's back here. <laughs> this is paradise back here. This is paradise. This is where it really this happens. Is where it this is where happens. you get Look, hey. The best way to train is places like this Absolutely, because you can't go yeah. out, you know? Yeah, exactly. You are training exactly. hard here. So, Canelo then, you fought Canelo. When that, when that came about, did you think it would, when it happened, like, I mean, well, if like someone a, told me you're fighting Canelo, I'd be like, ooh, what? Well, back, in, back when I fought him, he wasn't as much of a big name as he is now. He had the potential to be as big as he is but now. But you knew but, though, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, I knew in that fight, I knew how good he was. Um, and look at him now, I mean, he's pound for pound, top three best fighter in the world at the minute. Um, I managed to get 12 rounds. Um, so, we knew how special he was back then and uh, it proved us all right. What was the hardest point in the fight for you? Um, probably up until around six, round seven, until you get your second wind. Around five, six, seven rounds, you, you, you you're, you're trying to get your second wind, and then all of a sudden something kicks in, and you get your second wind. Um, what, what about when you're boxing, though? You know, when you're boxing, we all know there's a timer going. Do you think? Do you hear that bang, bang, bang? And you know, it's the last ten seconds. Yeah, I mean, what happens at that point? Because you're doing, you're training that long, and you're training for three minutes. You really know in your head how long you've got and how long, because you're doing it day in, day in, day in, day out. Um, you really, really do know. The belt, I've got about 30 seconds left here. I've got about 10 seconds left here. So you really, because you're training that long and you, you, you're doing that many rounds, you really start getting it into your head that, that you start realizing how long you've got left in a round. And then once it's all done and dusted, I know everyone gives out this big thing at before the match, don't they? Did, were you one of them? No, you, you know what? I was very quiet, <laughs> mate. I did all my talking in the ring. <laughs> yeah. Such a modest man, isn't he? Because <laughs> there are others, aren't there? Oh, they're absolutely. The one, you know? I mean, majority of fights now are made, are made on social media. Yeah. Slating people, uh, having, a, having a dig at someone. The promoters see it and think, that's a good fight. <laughs> I'll put that together and then mega bucks. Yeah. Like your combinations go. No, just one, two. One, two, three, four. Oh. There you go. That's it. And then move it, and then move it. Step right. into it. Yeah. yeah, step in and then move to the right. Move to your left. Mix it up. That's it. Keep the hands up. Keep the hands up. Get behind your jab. Get behind your jab. And let them combinations go off your jab. There you go. That's it. Good, good. Hooks. Hooks as well. Go for hooks. That's it. Uppercuts. Okay. That's it. Straight one, two hooks. Good, good. Keep that right hand up, left hand up. Keep that left hand up when you're up. Bring it up, up. bring it up. Keep defending. That's that. Good. Get behind that jump. Like coming in. Going into this new year, everyone was thinking about New Year's resolution. I want to lose weight, I want to get into it. And it's all about gym. This. See, gyms around this time of year go crazy. Yeah. Um, a lot of people, a lot of people make mistakes as well. Because what they do, they, they binge over Christmas and then really, really hit the gym hard. You'd need to ease your way back into the gym. It's, it's, it's horrible when you hit the gym hard and then you're aching and you, 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 you're in pain and your body you know, feels like you've, you've been run over. Uh, a lot of people need to just ease the way back into it. Generally, just build the fitness back up. Get back into a, a, a healthy eating plan, just eating clean. You know, keep off the crisps, keep off the chocolates, 
uh, just eating good foods. Would you recommend a cheat day then? Would you yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, hundred yeah, percent. If 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 you're not an athlete and you're not having to lose weight and you're not, you definitely need a cheat day. It's like. It's like I was talking earlier about my fighters. I always give them a week off yeah. after they've been on a hard training camp. And and same for, for the general public. If you're eating clean Monday to Friday, have a cheat day on a Saturday. Go out, have some nice food. Uh, training wise, walking, it's as good as anything. Honestly, you know, walking up hills, walking down hills, just going for long walks. If you don't feel comfortable or, or confident coming to a gym, if you do feel comfortable and you do feel comfortable, you're more than welcome to come down to our gym. Our gym is for everybody. We cater for everybody. 26 hour fitness at Shales Moor. Have a look at us on Facebook. Uh, we're on Twitter. Uh, our website, uh, 26 hour, at 26hourfitness.co.uk. We'll be along here. Yeah, give us a call. Order 272 084 for any info, even if it's not just to come to train at our gym, give us a call, out. we'll try and whoever's down on reception will try and help you out with any information you might need to know about fitness, boxing, uh, some events we might have got coming up or anything like that. So we're, we're here if you're not a member to, to just for advice. I always found you can't do one way out of other. There's no point in, in going to the gym having the best workout you've ever had, sweated buckets, and then driving home and calling to McDonald's. That doesn't work. That really doesn't work. You've got to do both together. You can't do one without other. So eat clean, train hard, and basically that's it. Amazing stuff. So do that, come here, check it out. If you guys want to really get fit, honestly, this is definitely the place to, to be really. I've seen Steven just sweat himself out out here. He was just wanting, begging to quit. So we've kind of given him a rest for the first time. He's tried it out. I wonder if he'll return. <laughs> I hope so. I hope sure so. He, will. he wants to lose that. <laughs> yeah. He wants to lose that, so he's going to have to, isn't it? If you really want to, you want to train and you want to lose weight, you want to do whatever, yeah. come here. This is the man to do it. It's not hard, it's not scary. Um, he will actually get you going and, and at your own pace if you need to, right? As they say, healthy body, healthy mind. There you go, 26 hour fitness, this is where you need to be. Two, one, one.